how to run independent samples t-test and interpret the results using SPSS. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to compare male and female respondents as a dichotomous group with regard to motivation, achievement, and study hours per day. So to do this, we are going to go to analyze and then compare means and then independent samples t-test. So here we want to test whether or not there is any statistically significant difference between male and female students on the one hand, along with their motivation, achievement, and study hours per day. So what we can do is that we can move all the three variables at once, which, which are the dependent variables, and the independent variable to the grouping variable here. And since the uh, groups are coded as one and two, so we can just specify like one, Two, suppose I have non-binary, I, I, I don't need to in include that for instance, or I can include it, so I can specify the range, but the most important criterion is that uh, there should be just two groups, okay? Otherwise, we can go for ANOVA if there are more than two groups. So click continue, and then for options, so here we have how we can deal with uh, confidence interval percentage and how we can deal with missing values, so I can just keep it like this and click OK. For the independent sample t-test, as you can see here, we have two tables, the descriptive statistics and the independent sample t-test table. So the descriptive statistics consists of the N that refers to the sample size, the M, or that, that is uh, meaning the mean score, the standard deviation, the standard error. So here, although we have different, equal, uh, let's say, sample sizes, this doesn't matter a lot. So here we have the mean, because we, the mean is the one that is used to see which group, for example, is ranked higher on a scale. And here we have males are more motivated, for instance. And here for achievement, it seems that males also achieve higher than females. And for study hours per day, we have also uh, 4.36. Here again, males have a higher mean score. And the standard deviation tells us to what extent there is any difference uh, from the mean, uh, that is standardized difference from the mean. So plus or minus 49, plus or minus uh, 37. So these are decimals, etc. So this refers to the heterogeneity of the motivation, achievement, and study hours per the, let's say, uh, the, the sample, okay? So here we have the sig 2 tail, that is the significance level or the p-value. And if it is below 0 0.05 or equal to 0 0.05, there is a statistically significant difference. Like in this case, we have a statistically significant difference between male and female respondents with regard to motivation. And you can obviously see that male students like are more motivated than females, and the, the mean score is 4.1 for males and 3.6 for females. So this is how we can interpret the results in brief. If you have, let's say, some specific questions about this, you can use ChatGPT or BART to uh, interpret the results. And if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below.